All right, we got a little bit of cost, revenue, and profit action for you today. So if you remember that cost function, it is called C of Q. So C is the name for cost, and the variable Q stands for quantity. There's also that revenue function, R of Q, where this Q, remember, is still the quantity, but it's just, you want to think of this as the number of items you make or sell as a business. And then profit, pi of Q, and then there's this break-even point, which is when the revenue is equal to the cost, or equivalently, when the profit is zero. It's when your business doesn't make any money in profit. Let's take a look at an example here. So let's pretend you own a massage business, and you pay $600 each month for rent, and then you charge each client $50, and on each client you spend about $2 in supplies. So maybe, you know, massage oils and other stuff that you might use. So that Q is going to be the number of clients that you see each month. Q is the quantity, but in this case, it's the number of clients. So let's find the cost, revenue, and profit functions. So if you remember, the cost function is fixed plus variable cost. So we need to figure out what each of those pieces are. So we got the fixed cost. That's the $600 that you pay each month. You have to pay that because you're renting a place. The variable cost depends on how many clients you see. You spend $2 per client. So if you only see one client, that's only going to be $2. But for every additional client you see, it's going to be another $2. So that's why it's 2Q. Revenue is P times Q. So we need to figure out from this example where we can find P. There it is. You charge $50 for each client. So P is 50. So for every client you see, you bring in $50. That's where the 50Q comes in. And then profit, you just subtract revenue or sorry, you subtract cost from revenue, so revenue minus cost, and there it is. There's your equations, you just plug it in, distribute, and simplify. There's your profit. Now let's find the break-even point for this business. So there are two ways to find break-even point. You can look when the revenue is equal to the cost or when the profit is zero. The first one we're going to check out is when the revenue is equal to the cost. So you just remember your two equations from the previous slide, slap them in here, do a little bit of algebra, solve for Q, and there you go, 12.5 clients. Now let's do it the other way. Let's set the profit equal to zero and solve this for Q. A little bit of algebra action happening here, and boom, Q is 12.5 clients. Same answer. So either way, doesn't work, you will get the same answer. Now, 12.5 clients, you can't really have 0.5 clients, so you can say 12.5 or you can say 13, and that might be a better answer. 13 clients is where you, you uh, get a little bit of money, but still not very much. All right, your turn.